Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we are going to uh, talk about grain and how to get rid of the unwanted grain. The footage that we are going to, sh to grade today is the footage of, um, you know, a model that I uh, met during a shoot. Her name is uh, Angelica Nicola. She's uh, super amazing, super sweet. And um, I recently shot with her for some uh, fitness video and we're about to do some more work soon. So uh, get ready. <laughs> and uh, here is like, you should see, uh, I'm browsing our Instagram right now. So, you know, make sure to give her some love and give her a follow and everything. As you can see, uh, if I make the image bigger, uh, we have a lot of grain here. You know, it's nice. We see that we have a nice sunset, nice silhouette shot, but all that grain is gonna be a problem. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of like do the, the base for our footage, you know, to have the, a little bit of color. So as you can see now with a little bit of color, uh, when we look at it, it's even worse. You know, the grain is there. So, um, what should we do? <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do, let's give it some uh, contrast. And then, as you already know, I talked about it in another video, we're gonna adjust the pivot. So with the pivot already, we can see that there is less, it's less obvious, but at the same time, the image is a little darker. So I'm gonna put the pivot down just to have a brighter image. And then uh, let's go ahead and, and put some glow, because I think that the glow is gonna play a part as well. So glow. And of course we go uh, in the composite type, uh, we are gonna use soft light. So it did something already. We're gonna put the shine threshold down. So we have something a little brighter. And the spread, let's play around with it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like, I like the, when, it's, uh, when the spread is higher. And for the brightness, we're gonna put it down a little bit, right? And if we look at what we have right now, it's pretty cool, but we still have these grainy footage. So uh, let me let me uh, let's make it bigger so that you can see what I'm talking about. So when it's bigger, I think it's more obvious. You see all this grain; it will be beautiful, but with this grain, not so much. So how are we gonna do to get rid of the grain? So there is an option in DaVinci, and it's doing a pretty good job. It's called noise reduction. So let's open a, another node and we're gonna go into uh, the tab for noise reduction, which is this one. And as far as frame, we're gonna select, let's say three. And uh, here we're gonna select better. And instead of medium, we're gonna select large. Now for the temporal, uh, temporal threshold, you know, both the Luma and the Chroma are, um, linked together but you can see here that you can unlink them and it's good to do so uh, to really get rid of a lot of noise so in this scenario you know because there is a lot of noise i'm gonna go really high so let's go i don't know let's go crazy i'm gonna put 18 and for the chroma i'm gonna put 16 now let's make it bigger let's see already did a great like you see you got rid of a lot of it uh, in the spatial noise reduction, same thing we're gonna do better, and here, large. And I don't know, let's put it at 22, which is pretty high, but usually I never have it, that amount of noise. But, you know, that, that's why I thought this footage would be a great example. So now, uh, let's make it bigger. So now, let's make it bigger and uh, as you can see, the noise is gone. It's it's a really beautiful footage now. Nice sunset. Uh, so here is the, if I turn off the node, you can see the noise is there. If I put it back on, it's not there anymore. So a couple of tips that I could give you is that, um, you know, when you use a noise reduction, Depending on the system that you have, 
it, it might really take a toll on your system. So, so sometimes I would, uh, you know, grade without it and add it at the end. So that way the computer can keep on going because you're going to see that when you use the noise reduction, your computer is going to get slower. Of course, I have like, um, you know, really, uh, you know, good machine. <laughs> so, uh, so it, I don't feel it as much because I, I remember when I was using uh, my old computer, I could tell that as soon as I used the, the noise reduction, my computer was not performing as well, basically. Uh, the CPU was like overwhelmed almost. So uh, yeah, that's what we have for the noise reduction. I hope it was helpful. Hopefully you can apply it to your, uh, to your grain or to your uh, footage that have noise. And you know, uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Right,